Next on the list, we've got this news courtesy of United Report on Twitter regarding Phil Jones. And I'm confused. I'm confused. Just as a United fan, short, you know, I'll talk on this briefly because I know how much people on here hate me talking about football. But hey, you know what? It's my thing. I do what I want. So... Phil Jones, if you're not familiar, um, is a player at United, a defender who's been at the club for more than 10 years, has been absolutely ravaged with injury, ravaged with ill form or poor form, and generally um, throughout his entire tenure has never really been fancied as the first team sort of centre-back for Man United. And the fact that he was one of Sir Alex Ferguson's last signings at United before he retired, and he billed him as the essentially... The next was it was the next Brian Hughes or Mark, who did he say he was? He 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 named him after some legend, right? Phil Jones basically saying that here we're going to pin our hopes on this guy and he's going to be the one to basically stay at this club for more than ten years and go down as one of the you know most important players, be a captain, bloody blah, blah blah blah. It never really worked out for him, and you would imagine a club like United and the fact that this guy is on you know a high wage, weekly wage, I'd say Phil Jones is, I would estimate he's probably on about anywhere between 70 to 120,000 pound per week. He recently signed a new contract, I think in 2018, which is insane. And if I'm not mistaken, the last time he actually kicked a ball for United was in the 1921 season. So more than two years, he hasn't kicked a ball for Manchester United. And if we go to his actual stats here, available on the Premier League um, website, it says here, of course, you know, 1920, as I mentioned, the last two appearances he had, only two. And he hasn't played again. You know, he didn't play a, in, in, he didn't play a single game last year. And this year, he probably won't play as well, considering that we signed Rafa Varane. You know, we still have Eric Bailly. We still have Lindelof. It just doesn't seem likely that he's going to get any game time, really. And, you know, I think in the entirety of his time at United, I think that's what, 10 plus years, let's say, right? Let's say 12. I don't know. Let's say ballpark 12. If I'm looking at this correctly, numbers wise, maybe no, let's say the last five seasons, right? Let's not make it a lot entire time. Let's say the last five seasons, he's played a total, especially let's go from the nineteen twenty, maybe a total of like sixty two matches over five seasons, which is ridiculous considering that there's already thirty plus games in the league alone, not including all the league not including all the cup competitions you a club like United are gonna be in. The fact that he can only muster sixty plus games across five years is disgusting and shows maybe that you know he's not at the level needed he's true injury prone whatever it may be the solution or the conclusion should be that he should be sold or at best his contract should be terminated but for whatever reason there doesn't seem to be any clamor for him his contract to be terminated or for him just to be completely iced out from the team because like i said center back is one of the most hotly contested positions we have at the club we had to loan out Axel Twanzebi to Aston Villa because we couldn't promise him any game time so I don't really see how suddenly Phil Jones can fill that void because he's never fit or when he does play he gets injured straight away it's just bizarre and I don't really understand why United don't just seem to be able to terminate players contracts I know for the most part it's not something that a lot of clubs like to do because if you buy a player essentially it's an asset even if it's depreciating in value you would prefer to get some kind of liquid cash out of that player so you can maybe reinvest it into transfers or reinvest it into the club whatever it may be or pay debts who cares so I understand why most clubs don't want to you know terminate the contracts of players because they would rather get a transfer fee but there are some occasions where you just can't come to a conclusion that works best there's no real offers because the player doesn't play in Phil Jones so clubs can't you know you don't blame the clubs for not meeting our valuation because they haven't seen evidence of him playing to a level that that valuation would justify so and then obviously we we keep on doing this weird thing at United where whenever a player's contract runs down to the last couple of years we always automatically extend it we never let people's contracts run down. Instead, we just sell people. It's just it's just a bizarre way of doing stuff. No contracts get run down. Everyone gets an automatic year or a couple of years extension, regardless of how poor they are, or regardless of how, um, of how, um, you know, of of like the lack of matches they play or game time they get from the managers in question. It just doesn't make any sense. And it seems like for all the trouble or for all the kind of stick someone like an Umtiti is getting now at Barcelona, he's obviously, if you've not heard the news, um, Umtiti is a left back for Barcelona who at the moment is currently refusing all transfer requests and loan requests that are coming through for Barca because they don't match up to his taste. 
and now Barcelona are kind of looking at the details in the T's and the I's, reading all the terms and trying to find out via Spanish employment law if they can basically fire Umtiti and only give him two months, I think, pay or something like that, right? That's what they're trying to do. And usually it's a last step in a the club. They don't usually like to do those kind of things, but if you're not being pro. Uh, cooperative and you know you're just turning up for training and you, you don't care that you're being embarrassed because you've been trained you've been shut of your number and you've been asked to play with the reserves and the fact that you keep turning out moves they basically do those kind of things in the hope that they'll put you in a corner get you upset enough that you just want to accept anything to leave or you just leave off your own accord which then kind of prevents which then kind of alleviates them financially in terms of paying out your entire contract so there's a lot of stick his way in Umtiti, but you don't hear the same level of stick being pointed towards Phil Jones, who is essentially doing the same thing. If a blight a little bit quieter, right? The fact that he's refusing to leave, he's not pushing to go. Obviously, maybe you know, a lot of clubs are in for him point blank, but you've never really heard Phil Jones come out and say he wants to restart his career himself outside of May United and maybe get back to playing football regularly and doing what he loves and maybe trying to get back into the team. We don't really hear anything like that from him. If anything, you just keep hearing about my land. And I think I mentioned on Twitter, but the writing was on the wall when there was a tweet that came out earlier that basically insinuated or suggested, I'm not sure if it's true, it could just be a rumour, but it was suggested that Rafael Varane wanted a number four at United, which obviously Phil Jones occupies a number four jersey, and he basically refused to give it up to Rafael Varane because, like the tweet says here, Phil Jones is keen to rebuild his Man United career. Solskjaer plans to use him as one of the five centre-backs this season. He'll be staying at United for the 21-22 season. It's just like, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, he's never played. He hasn't played football in, like, the, what, last two years, really, apart from two games, supposedly. He's always injury-prone. He's, you know, he's got... You know how they say a player has a mistake in them? He doesn't have a mistake. He has mistakes in him. Um, he's just not cut for it and it's no shame to just be like you know what we know we paid a lot of money for the kid when he came up and he clearly had potential to be a world beater but it just didn't work out just kind of you know it is what it is wash your hands of it and keep the guy moving but for whatever reason we don't seem to want to do that and now we're basically stuck with a player who we basically can't shift because allegedly he's on really high money for the level of player he is and no club wants to take that risk in offsetting his salary only for him to play a couple of games and then get injured again it just doesn't make any financial sense but you know what can you do 